444 on the big studio clock. Here's a live look from the top of Sandia Crest. I don't think the moon has set below the western horizon just yet, and the moon becomes uh, full tonight and Friday. So uh, very bright overnight skies out there. 42 degrees is our current temperature. We had 65 yesterday, and we are still on our way up. Records for the next three days are at 69, 72, and 72. Here are the forecast highs. Boy, awfully close, expecting to tie it tomorrow and perhaps even break it. Not all changes late Saturday into Sunday when a strong cold front comes through. Super strong winds are going to be possible on Sunday, along with the chance for rain and maybe some mountain snows. And you can see it's kind of a wintry feel as we head into early next week and approach Valentine's Day. Well, we finally solved the wind issue problem today. It's been breezy to windy today, a light wind day with the bright skies. Now look what happens on our Friday. Uh, we'll start the day with borderline cool temperatures, but a lot of us will stay way above freezing and we warm to well right around 70 during the afternoon with some low to mid 80s showing up there around Alamogordo, Roswell and Carlsbad across the entire state will be threatening record highs and the winds still look relatively light. Now on Saturday, as this next weather system approaches, gusty west winds will be developing in spots and we'll have to watch the Four Corners area in northwest New Mexico for the rain and upper Appalachian snow showers. And then on Sunday, the bottom just falls out of the thermometer. Afternoon highs between about 45 and 50 degrees for most of us. Probably going to be warm enough to talk mainly about rain chances and in Albuquerque, we'll have those super strong east winds that'll eat away at the precipitation. So our rain chances here in the Duke City are actually kind of stepping down with the expectation of those very strong winds that will develop. Todd?